Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. So today guys, we're going to be looking at something I haven't talked about for a while because it's been busy, you know? And we know the S&P aren't very good, right? We're, I'm fucking sick of them, guys. I can't stand a bunch of them and I really can't get behind any of their policies. But one thing they have been doing exponentially well, quite like the Democrats in the USA and the Labour Party in the UK and plenty of other parties around Europe, has been to advantage the Corona or the Coca-Cola virus, I must call it, because I cannot use its name in case of getting demonetized and so on. Although I've only got six subscribers. Anyway, the S&P have been using this virus as a marketing strategy, as a way of cashing in on the pandemic to make profit for their own game. Pretty much like what the Black Lives Matter people did with Funding Black Lives Matter when it went straight to Joe Biden's little pocket. And today, guys, we're going to be talking how the S&P have shamed themselves. Shamed, what a name. And they are cashing in, people. They're cashing in on making their own masks. I am not joking you. The news media does not talk about this. There was a few people that mentioned in this one, a few MPs that spoke out, but there's... This is one of many things the S&P have done within the last year or so that have just pissed everyone off. But making money out of a pandemic? What the fuck? That is literally terrible. And I don't care what anyone's opinion is on the virus. Making profit from this entire thing is sad. This is kind of Bill Gates territory. And we're in Scotland and that light's again taken away. But let's go take a look at the article where we have here where... It's pretty interesting. Sturgeon shamed S&P accused of cashing in on COVID with tasteless money-making scheme. Damn, I wasn't supposed to say that. Um, yeah, so they're going to make a scheme so they can cash in on the money. And it's fucking hilarious how they do it. Nicholas Sturgeon has been accused of trying to cash in on the coronavirus after the S&P started selling its own brand of face masks. And here's a little picture of all the face masks here. We'll talk about them in a minute, but you get to look at them all. It gets worse. Furious opposition MSPs are calling for the face coverings to be immediately withdrawn from the sale and claimed Miss Sturgeon's party attempted to make money from a global pandemic. Which it is. Which is fucking horrible. And you should never be making that th at all. I mean, I don't have to explain it, do I? People aren't that thick, surely. The Ranger mask launched after Miss Sturgeon had made wearing face coverings compulsory in all Scottish shops. Yes, and you've still got people coming out the shops and they're still wearing the masks. It's not just in Scotland, it's around the world as well. People are wearing masks because they're fucking scared. We're turning into a scared society. 1984, hashtag George Orwell for this one because we are just getting scared and this is why. This is also one of the things that you, you know, it's real funny how this comes around. People fail to comply with face, uh, comply, face a £60 fine, which goes up to 960 which is actually a bit higher now, because this is an older article, but it's now at least a £1,000, I think, in England as well, for the Pete offenders. Miss Sturgeon said the law was likely to remain in force the foreseeable future. Ah, so you can see they have no intention of getting rid of it, just like the Aberdeen lockdown. Nice way to scare the populace, huh? The S&P mask, which costs between £8 and £14 each. What the fuck? 8 quid? 14 quid? Are you fucking kidding me? You can buy a fucking six pack in Tesco and ask them for a fiver? And that's for the medical ones? Fuck off. This is what you get for taking advantage. We're exposing you for what you are. Scumbags. Come in five different designs including the party's logo, blue and white Scottish so tire, and yes, logo the clay and a grey tartan. Yeah. And you see these ones here? They are just it's absolutely shameful. This is fucking shameful. And look, look I'm gonna say it here. This is absolute propaganda in its best attempt. Because if you look at the top two, you know, the top three, well, they actually all say that, sorry. Like, they say SMP on them. 
That's marketing and propaganda. That's making people buy their product, which will go to them. And fuck knows where the money goes to after that. And then you use a salt tire, and you got this little shitty one at the end that says yes. You know, I fucking did this myself. I got a mask, I've got the pack, I went out and draw the fucking yes word on the face mask. That thing even cost me eight fucking quid. How fucking dare you? And that's just pathetic. I can draw that on my face. Oh my god. God, that is just, that's, that's sickening, guys, that's terrible. The party's website describes the coverings as fully branded official SMB phase mask, which is clear on the phase masks themselves, with a believable polyester and cotton mix. Yeah, and I think I mind they mentioned this in, like, an Edinburgh mill, like, two, three, month, like, a month ago, but I never actually thought it would go to this extent, because I thought this was just... A little business that decided to make you know this because they couldn't make tartan like they couldn't sell tartan kilts or anything like that so they made ma masks and they profited from it but it looks like the SMP are taking advantage of that too so sorry for Edinburgh Mill I think it says masks include two cotton fixtures which are shown to be effective of blocking the vast variety of airborne particles yeah and um, I will show you the video here how this guy with a vape can go through the mask. See this vape here? The particles from a vape can do exactly the same as the same size of coronavirus. These are the particles from a vape and they're just a slightly bigger than coronavirus particles. Fucking stupid. Annie Wales, Deputy Leader of Scottish Conservatives said, A decision by the SNP to make money up from a global pandemic is inexcludable. Yeah, it truly is. Miss Sturgeon must immediately act to ensure they stop the... This is never repeated, but this is the SMP. They get away with fucking everything because there's not good enough opposition up there in government. This is why we need to kick a good bunch of them out next year. Hopefully. Any money made from the tasteless venture should be donated to causes fighting coronavirus and its luminous act. Lunar, so uh, sorry. Uh, yeah, there should. I mean, I don't even know what the money was spent on because I don't think we ever looked at it ever again. And this is it, like, what's it getting spent on? The fucking po politics, party politics. What is it? It's weird. It doesn't make any sense. Stephen McCable, George Labour Inverclyde Councillor, says said the masks were extremely poor taste. So, well, that's a word to use. Glasgow Labour Councillor Malcolm Cunning said the SNP would put a logo on their granny's coffin if they thought it would gain a single vote. Yep, they fucking would. That's fucking brilliant, by the way. That is great. Kinnis, Scottish Labour isn't that bad sometimes, eh? Can't be that bad. It's bad, but it can't be that bad, you know? SNP spokesman told the Times, just like a football clubs and many others, we've launched our own brand of face coverings, but you're a political party. You're not a company. Fucking hell. We encourage everyone to help suppress the virus by including guidance on face coverings. Yeah, and buy our ones too, I Okay, that makes sense. Scotland recorded four new cases of coronavirus in 24 hours yesterday and a new death was reported by the 10th day in a row. Yeah, and the death rate is quite low and the infection rate is quite high, but the recovery rate is unknown because we never fucking published that. Scottish government data at least shown that 0.2% of the 9,176 tests done the previous day which came back positive. This was in July, guys, so this isn't anything to do with the Aberdeen cluster. The number of deaths in Scotland also remain at 2,000, and the measure which the requires confirmed COVID case having reported on July 16th. So it's been a few days, like, on the report said it's been like nearly half a month without anyone dying. Does that not tell you how this works? Just keep the people who are more vulnerable inside and away from the other outside world. But then again, that's probably just common sense. So let's get, keep looking at the article. The new case figure is lowest reported since July 14th. Yeah, that's what I said. 
The acting assistant, blah, 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 can't speak English. Miss Sturgeon said, very revealed the report, yeah, another day in Scotland with no deaths of people who tested positive for that. Yeah, well, okay. Despite the low cases in recent days, people travelling back and forth to Spain will be asked to self-isolate for two weeks after the country was taken off quarantine except the list on Saturday night. And we know that fucking changed because that didn't even matter what the hell it was. So guys, that's us going to be talking about that because this is absolutely scandal. This is just another thing the SNP are doing to scandal the people into submission. You know, we have the hate bill where they're going to report their speech. You know, it, it's not longer that you can say whatever you want and you might get a Twitter mob after you. It's the fucking polis will be after you soon. And even they're not happy about it. But let's go and take a look at these masks again. How dare you, Nicola? How dare you keep going out to that stage and saying how great you are, how great Scotland is, and then you force people to wear your fucking brand of face mask. This isn't a badge. This isn't flags. These are things that you can use as support. These are things that people need to protect themselves, the most vulnerable people. And some people wear these to protect their grandparents, their elderly, their disabled, and their so-called, you know, people that can get really affected by the virus really badly. But for someone like you to make profit from it, it's sickening. And you should be absolutely ashamed of it. So guys, thank you for watching this video straight to the very end. So I must have done something like that you've been able to watch this piece of shit long enough. So thank you guys for watching this video right to the end. And if you want to support my channel in any other way, because we are planning to go big on this channel. We are planning to make sure that the left knows us. Make sure the cancel culture recognizes we are a threat. Like me and many other creators, our voices are being silenced every and each day. So we must make sure we stand out to the cloud. And I am going to make sure my voice and freedom of speech is going to be there too. And if you want to help me support this, we are on... YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Parler, and Patreon. We're also on BitChute, and we also have our own website. So if you want to know any special details, make sure you click onto the Parler app and the BitChute so we can get more content on there for the special members on those pages, and you get to see more events about what I'm doing. It's going to be a lot of interesting stuff you get to see on those things. So make sure you sign up to all these different pages where you want to get to see what I'm doing, and we could get a lot of interesting stuff going on here, guys. So thank you for watching this video, and see you in the next one. And remember, hail the Empire!